What's up everybody? Welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. And today we're going to be taking a look at a piece from one of my like all time favorite designers currently especially like he just keeps getting better and better and better and that designer is Kiko Kostadinov. Now I don't know if you know this about me but I am a huge Kiko fan and right here we've got the Norman Armour top. That's what Norman Armour He's got weird names for his pieces, but I love Kiko, but I have like I have like way less pieces of his than you might expect. Like I'm always looking for his stuff, but it's actually kind of hard to find. Like he doesn't have that many stockists, you know, if you're into like off-white. Every single online luxury site is going to be stocking off-white. Kiko, he's not all over the place. And people find him super collectible. I, I understand why. I'd love to collect more of his stuff. But that means by the time it like gets on sale, because I'm only buying stuff on sale. I don't have money to buy this stuff at full price. By the time this stuff gets on sale, a lot of it doesn't have the right sizes for me. Uh, the coolest pieces are gone, all that stuff. But I got my hands on one of my favorite recent pieces of his, and we're going to check it out. So let's get into it. Yo, 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 before we get too much further, subscribe to the channel. I make tons of luxury and streetwear content. And also, if you're looking for deals on luxury and streetwear, check the description. I've got some of the best sites with all authentic stuff. Check it out. Well, 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 what do we have here? So, that was, that was such a, why did I say it like that? What is wrong with me? Anyway, so here's that, look at those point collars. Oh my God, I'm so hyped. So comes in this very crinkly bag. I hate this type of plastic, but I'll forgive them. You know, it's just the bag. Um, down in the bottom right here, we do have the retailer sticker. So obviously this came from Essence. Size up there in the top right. This is a 48. We'll definitely talk about sizing later because I'm sure it's going to be pretty interesting as it is with a lot of Kiko stuff. We've got a model name there. And probably most importantly, we've got a model number. Actually... That's probably Kiko Kostadinov, Spring Summer 21. So I'm guessing this one down here is the model number. We'll have to look into that. We'll see what we got on there. But yours may or may not have a sticker like this, depending on where you got it from. But having something from like Essence, Farfetch, Saks, any of these legit sites is always a good sign. The back of this bag is totally blank. So I think that means it's time to open it up. All right, first thing, the feel test. Okay, so that's like the hem. Jeez, that's crazy. Look at it. I don't know, satin hem in this piece. Oh, just like a nice cotton, it feels like. Okay, I can get down with this. And there it is, but folded up, so nothing too crazy yet, but like, oh, yes, those details. I'm so excited to dive into that, but first, we gotta take a look at the retail tags that come with this piece. So I've always thought that Kiko tags are really, really awesome because they're like, these like key card type of cases. They're plastic, clear plastic with this red stripe at the top. And then debossed in the center here is that Kiko Kostadinov logo text. Actually, is that debossed or embossed? It's a good question. Okay, I've looked closely and decided it is debossed. The letters go inwards, so that's very important. Take a look at that font, that spacing and everything. You've got these two holes and then this, it almost looks like a face or something in the cutouts there. but. On the back, we've got all the good stuff. And take a note, so from the front where that logo is, the red is on the back layer, so it's a bit more kind of muted, but then when you pop it over, that's where the red is. So I've got two stickers here. One from Essence matches the one that was on the bag. Again, yours may or may not have this, but the important sticker is this one right here, because that's the one that Kiko Kostadinov himself has put on, so every piece should have one of these stickers. So, what do we got here? Uh, I'm guessing that is our model number, interestingly. Sirocco, I have no idea what that means. Uh, Norman Armour Jersey Tops, so that's a model name. Colorway, separated by slashes, and this stuff is all caps and it's right justified, interestingly enough. Size, fabrication, yep, cotton for that body. They even put the washing instructions on this sticker, that's pretty rare. And where it was made, in this case, Bulgaria, and then a bit bolder off in the left, the website address. And now you might have noticed there is something inside of here. So let's open this up and see what we've got. And now I've got to remember how you open one of these. So I'm right there. All right, I got I got to look into this a bit, okay? This is a bit complicated for me. 
So reality check, as far as I can tell, there is no way to get inside here without cutting this open. And I don't want to do that. I want to keep this intact. But as you can see, there's like a gray piece of cardstock inside of there. And next, I think it's time to take a look at the brand tag at the back of the neck here, the neck tag. So this is like a nice, simple embroidered tag. Very, very smooth and soft. It is like a gray white, but like a grayish white color and then black writing stitched in there. Super, super clean lettering. The stitching is super clean. And you can see that this is just like folded over here off on the sides. And on the back, that is super clean. Just the inverted colors. And there's a little kind of like zigzaggy boy going on the top and the bottom around there in white. And this tag is stitched down right in the corners there. And that's what's holding that in. And you'll also note there are little white strips at the folds there. All right, now we get to unfold this a little bit and take a look at this piece in all its glory because I'm need to, gonna need to get in there to look at the uh, care tags next. Oh, it is so sick. Kiko loves his reverse stitching for kind of contrast and stuff, which I'm all about. But like I said, first we gotta take a look at these care tags in here. So these would be on your left side if you were wearing the shirt. And the first thing you get here is a size tag. So that's a simple white looped over embroider tag and stitched in there in black 48. Take a look at that lettering. There's a bit of like a, I don't know, extra embellishments on the ends of that four. It's a really interesting font. Whoa, my focus just freaked out. And uh, the back of that is blank. And then the care tag itself is a matte white, just like super plasticky type of tag. And actually the writing goes down sideways. So again, we've got that model number in bold in the top left and then one space, and then again, Sirocco. I believe that's actually the name of this collection now that I'm thinking about it. And Kiko Self, he always puts the name of the collection on the pieces. Down the bottom left, you've got Kiko Kostadinov, and I will note this is a loop tag here, so on the other side of the fold, you get a few things. So again, right justified over here, in the top right, you've got composition, and then that stuff in English, fabric one and fabric two. And then our washing instructions in the bottom right, this one is dry clean only. And again, made in Bulgaria. And this stuff is all caps. And then off to the left of that, you have, I'm guessing, you know, Japanese, Chinese, something like that. And that's all you get for these care tags. Super, super simple. And as you may be noticing here, the bottom of this shirt is lined with this fabric right here. So interestingly, they've stitched these care tags right into the seam of this fabric. All right, and now we get to take a look at the unique details of this piece. So let's just dive in. Let's start at the neck here with this collar and neckline. So you've got this nice burgundy red here for the collar. And interestingly, it's actually, whoa, that is crazy. So it's like open up here, and then it's stitched down down the middle. And then this flaps out. I've never seen anything like that. So the collar doesn't like fold over the piece. It's just stitched right in to the back of the collar. That's crazy. And then you've got like this plunging. It's not a V. It's like a U neckline, which is really cool. Like you don't see that very often these days. And then underneath that, you've got these three like rivets here. Why did I emphasize rivet so much? I'm going crazy, you guys. Anyway, they are like a silver metal. They're in there. They're just like really there for accenting. But you can see they go all the way. Oh, they don't. So this is double layered. Okay, so we're learning there. So you can't see it from the back. You just see it from the front here. And it's on either side there. And then one more centered at the bottom. You've got this stitch going down to match that U shape. And then moving down, as I mentioned, you've got this white reverse stitching for contrast. So really, this is the type of stitching that you'd usually see on the inside of a piece, like right here, right at the back of the neckline. But here they've done it on the outside in white, so it kind of curves along the front here. And then it's also mirrored on these sleeves where you've got this kind of, it almost like accentuates the elbow right here with this shape. It's very interesting. It's like a natural earthy kind of shape almost. It's really cool. And then another thing to note is that if you follow the sleeves down, you actually get two more rivets here, kind of like inside the elbow. And then the other big element here that I love so much is down at the bottom at the sleeves and the hem. Like, 
it's so cool. It's like so old timey, but so modern at the same time. So this is like a dual layer right here. And it just flares out a bit at the sleeves and at the hem. Like nobody except for Kiko is making pieces like this. And that is why I love him. And as I mentioned, so this around the hem keeps going into the shirt until it reaches this panel right here, which I can show you there boom and then moving to the back of the shirt they've mimicked the three rivets here also with the u-shape for that kind of reinforcement at the back of the neck and that reverse white stitch continues but it's much straighter it's not nearly as curved as it is on the front so now that we have checked all of those details out let's try this top on to see how it feels and see how it fits oh my god this piece is insane i don't even know where to begin um okay well let's talk about this size because this is interesting and i do think it's something that you should be aware of so this is a size tagged a size 48 which usually equates to a size medium but on essence they said that a 48 equaled a small and i usually wear a true to size small so i went with that and i mean I suppose I understand why they did it, because I would say it fits somewhere in between a true to size small and true to size medium. So I think if you were looking for a medium, getting a 48 would be a little bit tight, but on me, a true to size small, it is a little bit kind of boxy, a little bit open, but I like that. I think it really works for the silhouette, especially given the fact that it kind of flows out with that, like this organza, whatever it is at the, at the cuffs and the hem. So while it is a little bit oversized, I think it works perfectly for the piece. Now let's talk about the feel, because this is actually really cool. So the main fabric is a jersey, a cotton jersey. So it's very similar to a t-shirt, but like a super soft t-shirt. Like this cotton is nice, super, super soft, super comfortable, not stiff in any way, but it's like, it's also not thin either. So I'm loving this. And the fact that they put the, the collar is stitched into the outside of the shirt rather than folding over to the inside, it feels much more like you're wearing a t-shirt than a collar shirt. So it feels, I don't know, much lighter and more free in that sense. I think it's also really smart that they kept the, I'm just going to call it organza, the organza at the sleeves and hem. They keep it going inside, but then they stop it kind of just below your elbows for the sleeves and maybe just above your belly button for the body. And that means that your kind of torso, your most sensitive areas, you know, are getting that pure cotton jersey, which is super soft and comfy. I think if it was all lined with this organza, it would be quite a bit less comfortable. So Kiko played this one perfectly. Finally, I think you guys can see for yourselves the look is awesome. It's very classic, like old, old timey, like Ren Fair, Renaissance Fair vibes, but also super modern, um, very feminine, especially with the way the ruffles are coming out of the bottom. It's almost like a, a skirt bottom or something like that. But also, you know, it makes me feel very confident. I don't feel like I'm dressed in women's clothing or anything. It feels like menswear and I feel really great in it. So. I'm super psyched on this purchase. So that is what a real Kiko Kostadinov piece looks like. Thanks for watching. I, I love this piece so much. Take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.